Hello everyone, we're back out in the field again and this time we're off somewhere different. We're off to uh, check out Osmington Mills which does have a bit of Kimmeridge clay exposure and see what the geology is like, see if it's changed since Steve was last there a few years ago and hopefully we'll be able to see if we can find anything along the way. So let's go. This was once just, you know, obscured by land slipping again. It's not actually quite so bad, eh? It's better than it ever have, I've ever seen it. Really? Yeah. That sounds stupid. Jamie had some thorns, so he probably would have washed all this away and been nice and clear. You know? Yeah. Rather than this slippage stuff on top. Well, maybe it'd be worth coming back to then. Wonder, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. There's a nodule. You see, this is. With it, we're in the. Definitely is still in the Simon Ocean zone, I think. Right. Um, so and these that would have come from the top. And that there, you see that there, the shelly yeah. bed. This, uh -huh. this is definitely um, just just above the um, uh, the Simon Ocean zone. This this slip bit here. Yeah. This is all shelly and that. Yeah. There's a there's, look. There's a pumpkin shaped nodule again. See it there? You uh -huh. see it's on the side of it. And they're not productive, or they are productive? No, 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 no. There's another one there. You see where it slipped? Can you see it? Yep. Another one there. So they don't produce anything? Not really, no. Not really? No, I've no. never seen any, no. Okay. It's <laughs> just sometimes you say not really. No, full well, there's something, just no, not no, no. of interest to you. Well, look, there's... You see it's on the slope. It's on yeah. the angle, can you see? So it's been pushed up. You see the bedding? It's not level. It's mm. on the angle like this. Can you see? Yep. More vertical, isn't it? Yeah, so there's a, a big nodule there, you know, that follows them on. Mm -hmm. And above you've got the typical, I mean, it's just like when we went to, we are seeing the same sort of ammonites, um, these early alacostephanids. It's really good. And here, just here, before, there used to be um, the ring, uh, the basal beds of the Kimmeridge clay, but that's that's been slipped out, this is slipped over it, it's moving, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, it, no, it could yield vertebrate stuff here, yeah, quite easy. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, it really is. It really is, but of course, yeah, it's bloody good actually, it's best I've seen. You would hack away, you get some good animals, you know what I mean? Iridescent ones, you know. We'll have a look in a minute then. Well, would they be like, Flattened. All crushed? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, there's a big one there. With the oh. shell. Yeah. Um, and then you got, see here we go. Whoa. Slip. And there, there's older beds up there that's older than this stuff. So you can see this has been pushed up? Yeah. You see what I mean? It's quite complicated falling, but even there, look at that. Now you've got like a the size of the Kimmer's clay there that I've not seen. Worth looking at? Yeah, let me dump your rucksack down here. We'll just walk along and just see. Yeah, Ferrella bivalve. The shell's been dissolved away. Trigonia cost no my friend. Trigonia costata that one. See the straight bridges on it? Yeah. We've got complete ones <coughs> that, that things found it round it um, um small mess now as we've been there, you know what I mean? Mm. But here everything's dissolved away and this is all indicative of reworked stuff as well. So stuff's been laid down, redeposited, 
ripped up again and redeposited, you know what I mean? But you've got a fair old few different sort of bivalves, can you see that? Uh -huh. Bivalve material. Phosphatic nodules. <coughs> that's, a, that's another bivalve that's replaced by phosphate. So yeah, the more you look, the more you see. It's just, dead. until you start hacking away, you can see lots and lots of bivalve material, loads of it. And these, uh, even that one there, Ash, mm. Giravalella, big long razor shell. See it? All right. Yeah. But you wouldn't, as I say, you wouldn't sort of know it until you. Well, been, and worm tubes. These worm tubes here. Same as you used to see at Ringstead Bay, which you don't see now. But this is pretty crap, but it's better than you see there. Mm. Ah, here we go. Oh, come around here, eh? This is good. So now we've got the contact, okay, between the Kimmer's clay and the frying bed. So here underneath here, see those, these, oh no, perhaps not, hang on, no, this is still, this is still in the Kim Richards. So now these are side right nodules, see these here? Uh -huh. Okay, they're the same ones as when we went round to um, Smallmouth Sands, we saw they had burrows in them. Do you remember we got one on display? Yeah. And we find, if you look through here carefully, you'd find that lethanoid spines and stuff. But yeah, they're the, you, see, you can just see on here, Trace fossils, uh, you know, little trace fossils on the top of it. So yeah, yeah, I'll get another look there. But yeah, it's just little kibberies. But... That's brilliant. Pretty interesting. Well, it is. Hang on, I'll get me big around that. There's a lot there, isn't there? Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Hey, dude, here he goes now. He loves this sort of stuff. Oh, yeah. I used to have a bloody set of glasses on, I'll tell you. It's just undifferentiated. Oh, there's an ammonite right there. Which looks to be sub Probably won't get it out, but... Yeah, that's it. If I can get it off, I might prep it and just... That would tell us what ammonite zone it's in. You hear that go? Ching! Like ricocheting. Mm -hmm. Bloody hard, mate, I tell you. Wait. 
Ne, sim. Crowing beds, and then above the chemist's head, he's just slipping down over. We just come to the chemist's clay now. There's these nodules, sort of bit, these like a limestone stuck out. Mm. Okay, and above that, we're in the chemist's clay, but it's still slip stuff here. So we'll go, we'll traverse along in a minute. Yeah. Just see if we see some better exposures. <clears throat> see where the deer go, can't you? Look. Yeah. Following their bloody paths. Same thing because you've got the same bits of nodules, you know. But it's just getting a nice section. You see where you got slip clay over it, it buggers it right up. Alright. But look, you've got the oysters here, you can see a few. Mm. But if you want to sort of get them, the beds in cotton, it's very difficult here. Yeah. It depends on the slippage. But you can. I mean, I picked up a beautiful coral here once again. It's in Dawson Museum now. It's the biggest coral ever been found from here. You just never know. You just think, oh, yeah, bang. Something stuck out, and it's, it's that. But it's not easy, as you can see. It work. And I want to keep following the better one, but... Right here. Now this used to be a big sheer slip, mm. and that's where this dinosaur limbo came from, out of the, the same bed that that pliosaur came from. Oh, right. So the pliosaur's around the corner a bit. Hmm. <coughs> So somewhere here in the landslip, maybe it might come out as the other end of the dinosaur bone. But as it's about 25 years ago, I don't expect we'll see it. Yeah. Might have probably not. No. That's all we've got for you today from the Etches collection. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more and hopefully we'll see you next time.